officially Cacus uh, Scripps College, Claremont Mechanic College, and Pitzer College. Here we get to know everything about all the students, and in particular the reasons for even taking our course or doing the research thing. And so there gets to be a personal aspect to the science. So I enjoy being at a liberal arts college where we have one-on-one -on -one interactions with students have the opportunity to meet students where they are instead of where I expect them to be. Our students are also exceptionally bright, so I can expect an awful lot from them and that makes my job always challenging. So I can't teach the same course year to year because the students keep getting smarter and their expectations of me increase so that keeps the job fresh even after 15 years. Yes, yeah, so I've been very fortunate to be working with students from all three colleges and um, what I try to emphasize really is that, you know, being at a liberal arts college gives me a chance to do research actually almost at the grad student level because we can spend a lot of time together. This is really an example of the consortium, the Claremont Colleges, working to great advantage to benefit students. The opportunity to present in public what one has done in a scientific project is such an important part of the scientific enterprise these days to be able to communicate science. I just love learning about all these different things and I feel like it's very interdisciplinary and I like being able to take something I'm learning in one class and apply it to a class that might seem completely different. We always ask students, when you have the data, you come with your interpretation to learn to work as a scientist and also think uh, as a scientist. Our students aren't going to develop into good scientists merely by passively listening and watching us present science. It requires much more active engagement than that. And that's what we're really focused on here, getting our students involved in the scientific process through things like summer research internships, through senior, uh, senior theses, through um, working collaboratively with other students and things of that nature. We don't have graduate students here or postdocs, so you really get to have an actual involvement in your project and take leadership and um, definitely become very invested in it and learn a lot. Not only do you just straight science, so you get good at writing, you get good at kind of thinking about the world around you, and that's really good when you start to apply those concepts to your work in science. Oh, it's a great class. It really is. And I feel very, very lucky to be here. Plant biology is my sort of passion in life. I'm really happy to be doing this. Because it's a liberal arts college, I have the opportunity of hitting every single base in terms of every field. So my particular thesis project has to do with the retina. And there's quite a lot of calculus involved in changing the way the eye looks and all the how the data looks. So I was able to actually just go to the math department and talk with the teacher about it. Has it been exciting working with the students? Yes, it has been exciting working with the students. So if we were at most universities, the chemistry department would be physically in a different building, the physics department would be in a physically a different building, and the biology would be in a completely different building. And here everything is mixed, so instead of trying to make an appointment and walk across campus to talk to your physicist, you just talk to them over coffee. <laughs>